Welcome to part number 44 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the movie Chicane, and today we go back to doing regular events in Bayview Stage 5, whatever. I don't even know anymore. We've been playing this game for so long that I don't even remember what anything's called anymore. Blacklist 15? I don't know. I want to face them off so bad. All right. So, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, guys, but I know I said I was going to put Stingray body kits on my 240SX, but I think I want to retire the 240SX. Why? Because by the time we beat Caleb and do Stage 5's incomplete events, we're going to have a ton of money, and I figured we've already riced this thing out enough. This thing has already been known as the freaking yellow banana with flames and sweeper body kits and whatnot. So this car's going to be put to rest. I'm going to be replacing that car with a another car that I haven't decided yet once we complete the whole game and have to do the remaining incomplete events of Stage 5. With that being said, let me go ahead and get to my fifth car, my Nissan Skyline GTR, and we can finally put all the upgrades that we can on this thing now, now that we have the money to. Okay, I already have that installed. That's installed. That's installed. Turbo gives you that extra blast of gas to rocket your ride to glory. There we go. Our Nissan Skyline R34 completely tuned and riced out. For your viewing pleasure. Brought this thing back from Egypt. <laughs> and now let's go ahead <laughs> and go race it some more. Alright, is that supposed to be a skyline? It is a skyline. Alright, here we go. <laughs> the rear lights. Yeah, I purposely made the rear lights look like shit. It gives it some character, right? Hey, yellow and orange, um, <laughs> excuse me, your excuse, sir. Proceed with your question, or comment, about how beautiful my R34 is. Okay, well, this R34 is actually a pretty good car. I like it. Also, I mentioned the 240 was retired. The Audi A3 is like semi-retired. The bad looks not so bad about the front. Holy shit. I know it's supposed to be like, what, a rattlesnake kind of like look or some shit? I don't even know, dude. I like the Pharaoh on the hood. Like, I found it in the um, art factory, and I was like, oh my god, I need to put this on a car eventually. Oh, the finish line's there. Oh, it's in, ba in Beacon Hill, okay. Are we going to have to go through that really slow section? Yes, we will. Okay, we got to save some nitrous. For the rubber banding around the hairpins. Okay, my uh, master plan didn't work. Oh, it did. Okay. Never mind. It worked. 
Everyone got stuck at Burger King and we were able to win because Burger King sucks. I am hot, Rachel. Look at this ride. This ride's hot. Bolt on or not. All right. Oh. No doubt about it, Rishi. Burger King sucks, dude. Fuck Burger King. Um, let's see here. I don't think I've ever done this sprint race before. Okay, well, we took an early lead. So we're going to finish at Brad Lawless Memorial Park, I believe. In Brazil, it's better. Um, I mean, you know, that actually sounds believable, maybe. And here's why, because my family's from Guatemala, and it's like my parents always said that McDonald's in Guatemala was actually way better than the McDonald's in the United States. So, and I've had friends who went to Wata as well and said that, so I'm like, you know what? That doesn't sound too far-fetched. Okay, KFC is ass, dude. Like, chicken-wise, dude, KFC's the worst. Brazilian McDonald's is tasteless. <laughs> McDonald's is tasteless in general, dude. I mean, look, McDonald's is good for breakfast, and that's it. Yeah, dude, I mean, KFC is just ass in general, dude. KFC in the hood, even worse, dude. Because those damn employees don't realize that too much grease is not good. McDonald's breakfast is awful. No, it isn't. That's the only good thing at McDonald's. What are you talking about? Bagel. They don't serve bagels at McDonald's. What the hell are you talking about? What McDonald's have you gone to where they serve bagels? Oh, hell yeah, Arthur. Mom and Pop bakeries are always the best. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, we're gonna win it! Yes! We still win! What the fuck kind of breakfast do they serve at your McDonald's? Okay. So they serve McMuffins? McGriddles. Which McGriddles, I don't know if I don't know if they have them in the East Coast, but McGriddles are basically like Sausage and egg sandwiches, but the, the the bun itself is soaked in syrup. Breakfast burritos and breakfast platters. That's about that's about it, dude. In terms of McDonald's breakfast. Okay, let's do this random photo shoot. Uh, of course you are up in the heights. Yeah, man, they give you a really tight um, time trial, too. But yeah, that's... Dude, I've never heard of bagels at McDonald's, dude. 
I think that's an that's an East Coast thing. Double quarter pounder. I mean, they're okay. Like I, I'd rather go to a McDonald's and a Burger King any day of the week. And McDonald's breakfast used to be cheap. It's not so cheap anymore. Or you can just be like my, you know, some of my, some of my buddies. They're literally like, like just the fucking the, the ghetto breakfast at McDonald's is literally buy some uh, McMuffins, like the sausage ones, the do one dollar ones. Swiss Tuner Magazine snapped your photo. Check it out. <laughs> oh my god, dude! What a horrible magazine cover. Holy shit, dude. Oh, fuck. That's... Oh, god damn. That's terrible. Okay. Anyways, um... Yeah, so his... Literally, his, like, ghetto breakfast is he's like, Bro, go to McDonald's, because I was working at this one video game store once, and he was like, Dude, go to McDonald's down the street, buy, like... Buy me four one dollar sausage McMuffins, and then... Bring me some strawberry jam. I'm like, why? He's like, because. He's like, because if you want that shit to be flavorful, you put strawberry jam on the fucking sandwich. I'm like, no, that's disgusting. I'm like, no. No, thank you. So you're gonna want to adjust your acceleration and top speed. Why is YouTube filtering cuss words again? I don't know. Freaking YouTube. What the heck? Holy shit, this scrap is really crazy right now. Uh, where did you think you were going there, bud? <laughs> They're being run by feminists. Not the good kind, either. <laughs> Seriously, if they're filtering cuss words, that's so stupid. Like, come on now. I'm just gonna go to Justin TV if they keep the. Oh, wait. What? Nutella bread? Why the fuck don't we get that here in the United States, huh? Three kinds of cheese breads, a kind of sweet pocket pie, egg cheese bacon sandwich, grilled cheese, three kinds of croissants, toasted bread, and brownies? Why don't we get croissants in our McDonald's? Then again, it's like, I complain about that, but I can just go to a donut shop and get a croissant there. Or a sandwich shop, or Starbucks. And again, Starbucks isn't even all that great. Okay, a cheese bread with Nutella? I don't know. CK, don't go to Brazil, dude. You're just gonna get punted when you get out the airport onto the freeway. Anyways, um... Dude, okay, in, in that case, I don't know if I'd eat a cheese bread with Nutella. That, that's kind of disgusting, don't you think? Like, if it was standard bread, I'd get it, but with cheese? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe if the cheese wasn't so, like, strong, then I would consider it. And we punch ourselves in traffic? Exactly! You gotta learn somewhere. They know all about sportsmanship out there. Alright, so the next street cross race is literally down the street. Oh man, never mind. Yeah, it's not worth going there for Nutella.
Google it later? Okay. I definitely will, dude. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if the cheese isn't that strong on the bread, then, you know, it'd, it'd probably be good, but... I don't know, that, like, that's something I'll definitely have to try. I mean, then again, I'm pretty open to trying all kinds of food. So, I, I don't think I'd deny eating cheese bread with Nutella. This skyline sucks. Sorry, uh, don't be sorry, dude. It's supposed, dude. It's supposed to suck. It's, it's. I made it suck on purpose. <laughs> and don't blame me. Blame Arthur Costa. <laughs> yes, it is. It's turbocharged. But yeah, blame Arthur Costa because he told me to. He, he's the one who asked me to to completely rice out and destroy an R34. <laughs> so. <laughs> Blame him. Go to his house and riot. <laughs> don't, don't come with pitchforks to me and my stream. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, same way there's a shit ton of accidents here in the US because we have some dirty American players sometimes. Super Street. Woo! Oh, fuck me. Not a circuit race. In Jackson Heights. Super Street is here and looking for winners. Make sure you nab the checkered flag. Oh, it's this race. No, please. Okay, please be like two laps. Yes, it's two laps. I don't want to deal with this again. I think in stage four, this race took me like two days to complete. I am playing on hard mode after all. Yep, you called it, Arthur. Whoops. Okay, so we're doing good so far. If this is another case of a really difficult race, then we might... We have the opportunity to, to fully tune the car now. So that's good. It might not be necessary, but the option is there now. And even though the option there was there before, the transmission we couldn't fully tune. Because in stage 2, 3, and 4, we could only tune the final gear. Now we can tune the entire transmission. Which, honestly, tuning the final gear only is kind of dumb, but at the same time, it's like, okay. It's only an entry-level transmission upgrade, so I could sort of understand it at the same time. Kind of like on Gran Turismo, when you buy the um, five- or six-speed uh, close-range transmission, that you can't fully tune it or tune it at all, it's kind of the same as that. Alright guys, I'm going to do some shitty editing because I'm getting a phone call. Alright, I'm back.
Look at that Pharaoh. All right, well, starting to close back up to the Corolla. And now we dumped them for the lead. Sweet. I honestly, I have like the biggest confidence that we could probably win this on attempt number one. Because this car is actually pretty good up here. The Audi A3 was dog shit at this, you know, Jackson Heights circuit in the previous segment, but this course is actually pretty good. Not good looking, but good performing. Okay, this is the moment where I start driving with the mirror on because I don't trust any traffic, nor do I trust anyone behind me at this point of the race. Oh my god, if that's not the luckiest moment of 2018, I don't know what is, dude. It's like the game is finally being nice to me. Almost there. We're almost there, guys. Only a few more corners to go. We have one and a half bottles of nitrous. I consider the overlap another bottle, so. Holy shit! We got so lucky! Wow! Man, <laughs> whoops, I hit did not save by accident. So I'm going to save right now. I meant to hit, I meant to make it a thumbnail, but I guess we can do one more race and make that a thumbnail. So what's near us? Another street cross, but this time at the body shop. Thanks, I with her, appreciate it. All right, let's go. You forgot this was a skyline? <laughs> I think a lot of us forgot this was a skyline. All right, good opening lap, up to the lead. Gotta snug the inside line. Go really wide on the outside. That turn one is really tricky. If someone dumps you, you're done. You're like, you cannot rebound from there. All right, one more lap.
And yep, another easy peasy lemon squeezy win. Sweet. Alright, let me make this into a thumbnail. And that takes care of this video. So, next time on NFS Underground 2, more random events. But this time we change cars because I can't use the Skyline again.